Hi guys, welcome back to Sharman's Kitchen. A pleasant good evening to each and every one of you. Hope you guys are enjoying your Sunday so far. I had a really, really busy day and I'm trying to make the easiest dish I can for dinner. So today I'm gonna be making a delicious chow mein and ground turkey with a lot of vegetables. So if you wanna see how I'm making this dish, come on down and let's get cooking. So for our chow mein today, I have a basket here full with some vegetables and these are what we're gonna add in the chow mein. I have a head of broccoli, I have two carrots, I have some bok choy, some bora or long green beans and about a quarter of a cabbage my hubby is gonna cut these up for me. In the meantime, I'm gonna go pick some fresh ingredients from the garden to add to our chow mein today. So these are the fresh ingredients I'm gonna be using. I have some maruri pepper for flavor, some fine thyme from my garden, some flat leaf parsley from my garden, one red onion, some cilantro, and some green onions from my garden i'm gonna be chopping these up and i'll come back and let you guys know the next step so i have my seasoning chopped up and the first thing i'm gonna be starting with is my ground turkey so now i'm gonna add my ground turkey to the pan with oil I'm going to mix this up. I'm going to cook this for about two minutes before I start adding flavor to it. So now that our ground meat was cooking for a few minutes, I'm going to start adding in my salt. Just about a teaspoon and if I miss any measurement I will leave all the measurement in the description below I'm gonna go in with some freshly ground black pepper now I'm gonna mix that black pepper and salt in and I want to add now some garlic. Garlic goes very nice with ground turkey. So all my garlic is going in. And I'm going to add some fresh fine thyme and my maruri pepper at this point. So as I cook, I'm going to keep adding different flavors. So our ground turkey has been cooking up nicely. I'm gonna add some Chinese sauce, just a little, to change this color that we have here. I'm gonna mix this in. And we're going to start adding our onion. I like when the onions still have a little bit of a texture. So the onion is going in. You can use any kind of onion. Today I'm using red onion. We're going to add our flat leaf parsley. And I'm going to add half of the green onion in here. I want to use half for the vegetable. And this smells amazing. It smells so delicious already. Look at all the beautiful colors in this pot here. And this ground turkey can be eaten just like this with a wrap or a roti 
or even some rice, any kind of noodles. So much you can do with it. You can even put it in a piece of toast and enjoy this like that. So to completely cook the ground turkey, I add about half a cup of water. I'm gonna cover this pan, let it cook on medium to low heat so we can soften up that turkey meat before we add it to our chow mein. So let's check on the ground meat. And this is looking very nice. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of ginger, fresh ginger, because that's gonna enhance the flavor of the meat. And ginger goes very nice in chow mein as well. This only need about another minute so that ginger flavor can get into this meat. And then we want to take it off with nice and juicy because it's going to be, it's going to make our chow mein even juicier. So the next thing, my ground meat is finished. The next thing I'm going to start with is the vegetable. And my husband really did a good job with the vegetable. He put them nicely and separate them here for me so it's easy for me to add while I'm cooking. So let's get started with the vegetable. So the first thing I'm gonna add in the pan is the carrots. I like to use this big pot because I like the, the space in this pot when I'm cooking because I'm gonna mix the chow mein, the ground meat and the vegetable all in this pot here. I'm gonna give this a little mix. And I'm gonna add a little bit of salt in here. I like to flavor the vegetable as well because the chow mein don't really have any taste. I just toss them around a little and then I'm gonna add my cabbage next. Cabbage cook really fast, so we just roughly chop them because we still want them to hold up. And then I'm going to add some black pepper. We're going to add our onions now. So we're going in with texture and flavor, texture and flavor. And we're going to mix again. this properly and then we're going to be adding the uh, bok choy stem and chow mein when you're making this dish you can add any vegetable of your choice you do not have to add the same vegetable that I add I like to add as much vegetable as I can in my chow mein and fry rice but um you can leave some out if you don't like them i'm gonna add some chow mein cheese chow mein seasoning so as we're adding the vegetable we're flavoring them up
I'm going to add some Chinese sauce. And that's the chief. Um, sorry, that's the pepper pot Chinese sauce. It's a guy in a brand. Just a little bit goes a long way. If you don't have Chinese sauce, you can also add soy sauce into the chow mein. So the next thing I'm gonna add now is my broccoli and the bora and a good Guyanese chow mein and fried rice always have some bora inside I'm gonna mix again and then I'm gonna add some Chinese spice Chinese spice the sari brand and this is also a Guyana brand and the Chinese spice is just a whole bunch of spices blend together, which is very nice for your fried rice. And some of the dishes I like to put inside, chow mein, stews, depends on what it is. So we're gonna mix again. And this smells amazing. It's with all those spices, it's really coming together nicely and we like to put our vegetable on the crunchy side in the chow mein I'm gonna add the leaf part of the bok choy and this is one big pot of vegetable I'm gonna cook it a little before I add anything I'm gonna put some actually I'll leave that green onion for later but um, I'm gonna add some cilantro here cilantro really really adds a good flavor to this and I like to put a generous amount. It's also optional, depends on your taste. We're gonna mix this in. And let it cook for a few minutes. So while my vegetable is finishing, I had some water boiling on the stove. I added about a teaspoon of salt. And today I'm cooking the Imam chow mein. So this is a vegetable noodle. I'm gonna add it to my water and I'm gonna cook it until it's nice and not too soft but ready for the vegetable. So my vegetable is done the way I like it on the crunchier side. I'm gonna add the ground turkey to this. And we're gonna mix the meat with the vegetable. And then once that chow mein is done, we're gonna add all, we're gonna add the chow mein to all this goodness, all this flavor in this pot. And we're gonna have one delicious, tasty chow mein. Look at this. Look at the ground meat here. This can be eaten just like that as a meal. Sometimes if you're, you had a busy day or you're in a rush this is a very very easy thing instead of tying out meat chopping up meat and doing all that long process this is another way of finishing a healthy delicious dinner in no time at all okay so now everything is mixed in my chow mein noodles is done I usually like to cook the chow mein right before the vegetable is done so now the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a little bit of soy sauce right on top here because this chow mein doesn't have any flavor unless I start mixing it up. Just a little drop. You can add Chinese sauce if you prefer. And we're gonna mix all that goodness in now. And this, I wanna just sprinkle my green onions and we'll just mix this and I'll show you guys what it looks like when I finish. Look at how beautiful. Well, well seasoned with all the vegetables and the ground meat and it looks nice and juicy. The stove was on low heat but I turned it off because I don't want 
to continue cook the chow mein. But look how nice and juicy this is. Quick, quick dinner. And everybody's going to be happy. The kids like when I make this with the ground turkey. You can do it with ground chicken. You can also do it with ground beef or any ground meat of your choice. So here is that beautiful chow mein noodles with a lot of vegetable and my ground turkey. I have a rich plate here of delicious goodness, my Saturday dinner. Hope you guys like this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. Remember to um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I'm gonna plate myself up some some of this delicious goodness and I'll let you guys know how it tastes. So big shout out to my mother-in-law, Dolores Fernandez, who always watch my video. Hope you're watching tonight. And while I was eating this chow mein, I was thinking about you guys. Shouting out to Marianne, um, Madison, and little Jessie as well. So here is that beautiful plate of goodness. I'm just going to dive in right on the top here. And I will let you guys know how this tastes. So cheers to all my YouTube brothers and sisters. Mm. There's no shortage of flavor in this plate of food. Cilantro really enhanced chow mein or noodles and it's all the different spices that I put. It's so flavorful, so tasty. Oh my God. My two daughters are eating and said, Mom, this food tastes so good. So I'm not lying. And what I like to do, put some cilantro, some lime juice, and some, a little bit of salt onto my cucumber and tomatoes as well when I'm eating this. And it makes that food taste so delicious. I'm gonna take another bite. Mm. Amazing, quick and easy Sunday dinner. Until then, I want to say to you guys, enjoy the rest of the evening. Stay blessed, stay safe. Bye for now.